Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and I wanted to talk about this little device, the RTL SDR.com dongle at version 3 is the latest version and uh, basically what this is it's an RTL SDR dongle that you can find for really cheap for like less than $10 shipping included but upgraded to have better performance and um, filtering some filtering for the noise and uh, here we're going to talk about the VHF UHF performance out of this comparing a little bit with the RSP1A also at the same time so what is the performance on VHF UHF it's okay I mean I've been re able to receive most of the signals that I wanted to I always have a few weaker signals that I actually use uh, as a beacon to kind of see if what I'm getting is uh, really, you know, um, up to par. What I notice is that it overloads easily compared to my RSP1A from SDR Play, but that RSP1A is more than three times the price of this. So it's a, to expect that it actually performs better than this. Uh, but it is not that bad. Signals are a little weaker than they would be on the RSP also at the same time. But I'm getting most signals that I want. If you're looking for just VHF, UHF performance uh, device, it's okay. If you don't want to spend money, it, it, it can do the job. It does the job better than it uh, do, than you know the cheap, cheap dongles that are typically uh, 10 bucks. So they did do some improvements. The frequency calibration is also much better. It is very... Uh, very stable and the uh, frequency stability and the frequency precision is actually pretty much on the dot which makes it also different from you know the cheap RTL dongles that often drift a little or are off frequencies a little bit the uh, thermal design is also interesting because it um, you know cheap dongles at 10 bucks they often become really hot when they actually run this one comes warm to the touch but it's not overly, um, you know, getting overly hot like some of the RTL SDRs. Now, the verdict of this, of course, is if you're serious about VHF, UHF on uh, software-defined receivers, um, get yourself something else, an SDR Play RSP1A, for example, or something more expensive, because it doesn't quite match the performance of an RSP1A, for example, or a RSPDX or RSP2 Duo. These actually perform better on VHF, UHF than this one, are more sensitive and a little less prone to the, um, to the overloading. There is some overloading on RSP devices, but it's not as bad as the one that you have on this dongle. So um, for a cheap dongle, it's an okay performer. But if you're serious about VHF, UHF, go to something a little better. Um, it, it, it definitely does the job for VHF, UHF, but you can get better than that. So, um, you know, for roughly $20 to $30, um, if it's just for having fun and playing around, it's okay. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.